I'm Steve Newman and today we're going to be talking about Good Notes, which is a note-taking app for iOS. Welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about Good Notes, uh, a note-taking app for, I, uh, for iOS devices. I use it on a daily basis on my iPad Pro and 12.9 inch and I use it with an Apple Pencil because it has native support for an Apple Pencil. So let's just jump in. So okay so Good Notes. Okay, so let's talk a bit about it. So first of all, what, what, you, what you have is you have a really clean interface, which is good, and you can, you can store your notes in a bit like folders, and they call them categories. So you can create categories and subcategories for notes. So let's have a look at this. So I have, I've got my work ones, and I also have my test ones. So let's, let's go into, let's create, we've got a category called test. Now I could create another subcategory if I wanted under test and, and break it down further. So that's really good. So first things first, you can create notes. So we create a notebook and the notebook itself is uh, really simple to kick off. So if you're in a meeting and you, and you want to quickly jump in, create one like this, we're going to give it a title. So, so let's call this test or create it. Now, what you didn't see there was that's how quick it is to jump in. So that's the default way to create a note. And then you can, and then you can go ahead and, and, and title it test one. Okay. So really simple. However, let's go back. Say you, you have, as you can see, there's a little symbol here which is showing it upload into the cloud. So that will disappear after a while when, it, when it's, it's uploaded to the cloud. Now, what we're going to do now is show you how you can, you can differentiate different note types. So if you've got a filing system, it's up to you what you do. So this time when we create a note, uh, we, we are going to change the look of the cover and we can also change the look of the paper if we wish. And so on the cover, if you tap on the cover, you can then select different cover templates. Now, the only difference, as you can see, is the strip down the left-hand side, and, and that may mean something to you. So you may have green for all things that are uh, relevant to a certain project or something that you're doing. But in any case, you can pick one. We're, we're going to pick the black one, simple black. And again, you, you have another feature uh, where you can change the, rate, the writing papers. So, for example, we can now go into graph papers if we wish, and you have landscape and portrait versions, and you also have a lots of different uh, sizes, so that if you were printing one of these, it would it would it would look like the size it actually is, which is obviously much is more convenient than than having something that's the wrong size. So we create this now. Oh dear, I didn't give it a name, so that's no big deal. We can go back and we can edit the one we want to do and we're going to give it a name. So we're going to call this this one here, we're going to call it, um, I don't know, uh, Hot Day Notes. That's because it's really hot in here. Okay, now you can see my imagination is boundless. So uh, what, what we do is we've now got our notes, we're, we've edited our note, and we're going to jump back into our note. So let's test one. So, okay, you can also put some more information at the bottom of the note, uh, which will help you in some way. I, I don't know, uh, version, oops, let's get rid of that. Version one. I don't know, whatever you find useful at the bottom. So, two fingers, it's got loads of gesture support, so two fingers will scroll you through the pages. And you only have pages for where you have notes, so it's created one so I can go ahead. Now you have two options. Now with an Apple Pencil, um, you can just write anywhere on the page, that's great. Uh, and I personally use it that way. So if we were taking notes now, it would be something like this is uh, a really good uh, note taking application okay so 
you can write that way. Now, some people don't like writing directly on it and in meetings you might want to write at the bottom of the screen. If you don't have an Apple Pencil, you may want to use an, uh, one of those touch type uh, pencils that you can get quite cheaply. Now, this does support that as well. So if you press this here, um, you, can, you get a zoom. So on that icon and then you can set it up where you want to start and now you write only in the bottom. So, for example, I could say um, this is a test of me um, writing small, as you can see, um, it, it, it's automatically worked along. And, and if you notice, because I've gone to the end of the screen, I can now jump back and carry on writing if I wish, or I can create a new line. So for example, when I say writing, I could just put the letter A on the end and it's just carried on the sentence there, if you see what I mean. So um, the other thing you can do is use other controls here. So you could, for example, press that and do a new line. So that's how some people like to use this. I personally don't, but that, that's, that's their view. Now you can see that wrote really small, so you can get a lot of information on, on this document. And also it, um, you can change the thickness to suit your, uh, the thickness of the pencil uh, and the color and so forth. So very good. Okay, so let's just jump into the other features of the application. So for example, say you're in a meeting and you need to take notes uh, and someone gives you an action or you're taking an action that you want to perhaps take that text and put it in another application. Um, rather than it just being an image of text, it turn it into uh, real text. So this is the kind of things you can do. So for example, say, say we're gonna say, um, ask, Oops, I can't write when I'm on YouTube. Ask John to um, build a um, house. Oh, John's really talented actually. So, so we're gonna ask John to build a house. Perhaps you had another action, uh, which could be, um, let me think, uh, pay for car service, etc., and another one, another one, and uh, perhaps you, perhaps you also have something like um, a list of tasks that have to happen in a certain order, uh, and then you're in the meeting, and suddenly uh, someone's come back and given you some more information on the, the task above, and you then end up writing really smallly in between. Well, you don't have to do that with this. What you can do is you can select the lasso to tool at the top of the uh, top at the top of the toolbar, and then you can, for example, I'm now going to make a bit more space, so I'm going to pick pay for car service, and I'm going to move it out of the way, and and so now I can now write underneath and insert something else. So let's insert something else. So in this case, we're going to write something like. Um, uh, oh, there we go. So, update. Whoops, I'm still on the wrong tool. So, update um, Windows 10 system. Okay, so you can see it's very easy to move things around. Now, what the thing I like about this is at the minute this is just an image. Now the system has a search function which will search for text uh, and notes with text so it will convert everything so you, you put a, a search term in and it will then look for notes that have that text so that's really good. However if I want to now take the details of my actions out of this to so say these are actions I could oops so let me let's just undo that Okay, I could, again, select the lasso to tool, and what we're going to do is select the first action that's in here, and if I now tap on it, I can convert it. And what it's done is it's now taken the text, and my handwriting is pretty poor, and it's taken the text and it's given me a, a text version of it. 
Now, it won't do anything with it in this application, but more importantly, you can now share it. So if I click the share icon, I can now go and insert this into an application that can do something with it. So that could be your reminders. Uh, I usually use something called OmniFocus, which we will talk about later, or perhaps email. So I could add this into an email as a task. So I'm gonna just for now, to make it easy, I'm gonna add it into, into our notes. Um, now, the, the note itself uh, doesn't have to, uh, the, the note itself, let me just go in, you can pick an existing note. So I'm gonna, ooh, we could pick it into, let's have a look. We'll put it into this, this note. Uh, and now I've added that into the note. So if we now jump out of this, so we now cancel that and I'll go into notes. We should see it's now added it in as a note into my existing one. Now, if the application you were sharing with has other features uh, like reminders and so forth, then it will show up the features that are published and it will allow you to set up reminders and alarms. So that's really powerful. So let's go back now to, to the, uh, to the uh, good notes. Okay. so. Other features that are in this that I really like are the ability, or is, sorry, the ability to um, do shape recognition. So if I was trying to show something to someone, trying to describe something, instead of my horrible scrolls, so for example, my scroll, oops, let's do this again, my scrolls, that is my attempt at a box, which, which isn't really that bad, but um, say I was doing a diagram and I wanted this to be something more professional, I can use my colors and so forth. So let's, let's get rid of these, just to show you. So I'm now gonna change color, we're gonna go for red. But I'm gonna turn on shape recognition. So what we're gonna do is really quickly, we can create square, create a circle, and we can obviously create a very bad triangle, but there we go. But as you can see, and it doesn't really matter what the shape is, it base, it tries to smooth out the shape. So it's great for drawing lines, under things, and so forth. So that is really powerful. So you can uh, go ahead and easily create diagrams. You can import pictures from your camera roll, and you can sign PDFs and so forth. So very, very powerful. You can export uh, any pages or entire documents to PDF form, and uh, you um, can also print natively. So really good application. So this is my, my favorite one. Now, the other thing you can do in here is the, the overall, over here at the top, you have a little four squares at the very top of the screen. If you click on that, you can quickly jump from one page to another. So if you've got a very complex document that you've been adding to for a long time, so it's got hundreds of pages or whatever, you can jump quickly. You get a little preview of the, the document and you can jump quickly to the relevant page. It's very good. And again, like I said before, you can actually search your notes uh, as well. So if we now go and create a search term, so let's look for John. Uh, and we'll just make sure in English we are. Okay, and what, what this will do. Okay. So we searched it, and as you can see, it, it, it's showing me, it's highlighted the word in this document where John was. So if you've got 60 or 100 pages, you can search for a term. So that's really powerful. So it, it, it's something that um, I find really useful. And again, uh, I don't know what else you would do without it. So that's, this is my favorite tool. So let's, let's, let's now go back. So this is my favorite um, application that I use on a daily basis in work. So once again, thank you very much for joining.